lecture, but I'll just give the three principles which enable us Israelis to live so easily with this brutal reality. A, most of the Israelis, if not all of them, deeply believe that we are the chosen people. And if we are the chosen people, we have the right to do whatever we want. B, there were more brutal occupations in history. There were even longer occupations in history, even though the Israeli occupation gets to quite a nice record. But there was never in history an occupation in which the occupier presented himself as the victim. Not only the victim, the only victim around. This also enables any Israeli to live in peace because we are the victims. The other day, to the third set of values which enable us Israelis to live in peace with the occupation, and this is maybe the most crucial one and the worst one. We say victimization, we say chosen people, when I say victimization, it goes without saying we have to mention the Holocaust and the unforgettable Mrs. Golda Meir that the American jury had exported to Israel. She said once, this unforgettable woman, that after the Holocaust, the Jews have the right to do whatever they want. But the third set of values is the most dangerous one. And this is the systematic dehumanization of the Palestinians, which enable us Israelis to live in peace with everything, because if they are not human beings like us, then there is not really a question of human rights. And if you scratch under the skin of almost every Israeli, you will find it there. Almost no one will treat the Palestinians as equal human beings like us. That the world in the long run will not tolerate an apartheid state. So Israel is faced with a status quo that is intolerable in the eyes of, of public opinion, in the eyes of most of the world. It has undermined the two-state solution by its own actions. And uh, what is uh, the options remaining is a one-state solution. I haven't advocated a one-state solution because I don't see how that can happen Immediately, I think that I would have loved that to happen, or at least have a state with, with, uh, where Jews and, and Palestinians and everybody would sort of be equal and had one, one, one man, one vote, and so forth and so on. But knowing the history, knowing the past, knowing the resentment, knowing the injustice, knowing everything, we all know that a one state solution, if it were to happen tomorrow, would be an invitation to, to civil war or something like that. Increasingly evident that hopes for a two state solution are almost dead. Um, the, at the same time, polls among Palestinians in the occupied West Bank and Gaza are showing that they're increasingly in favor of a one-state solution with equal rights for Israelis and Palestinians alike and equal citizenship. Is that something you believe could happen or is that something you support? No, I don't. I mean, I think if that happens, then that would be the end of the state of Israel. And I support Israel's right to resist.